the outcome of this project is to have a better and faster and more accurate overview of single anomaly that we can detect in pit stop analysis. With the AI, our main goal was to enhance the speed and the productivity of our team and at the same time reduce the uh, manual workload they had to do, but always keeping the cost low. And that's why we used a serverless architecture and uh, services like SageMaker, Asynchronous Endpoint, that we can turn off and turn on when we need it. Our primary goal was to find a way to uh, synchronize precisely the video with the telemetry data coming from the pit crew equipment, like the screw guns. So we decided to build and to develop a custom model using PyTorch and Amazon SageMaker Asynchronous Endpoint. The system that we built uh, leverages AI to detect the traffic light in our pit stop video. And that was the crucial part that led us to perfectly synchronize the video with the telemetry data. During a race weekend, they typically manage a lot of pit stop coming from the free practices, the qualifying and racing session. Analyze like 26, 30 videos, considering both the front and the rear angles. Previously, this process was entirely manual. So our engineers had to look at the video and the telemetry separately and by hand. Previously, this was a task that required a lot of hours of human attention. Now, with the AWS services, we are automating this process. The core components of our solution uh, are AWS Lambda, and Amazon SageMaker, that is the, the Amazon service where we run our custom object identification model. So we built a uh, fully autonomous, uh, robust and serverless architecture. Now with this new system, the object identification and the desynchronization is completely automated. So our engineer, for example, can now move their cursor on the video or on the telemetry to look at the, any small inefficiency or to analyze better the pit crew members' movements. So the heavy lifting is fully automated and this led to an enhancing of accuracy and uh, performance. This kind of analysis basically guides the training and the process refinement on pit stop performance. What I really like on AWS is the fact that we can have a serverless architecture, so we can build our model in a way that we cannot uh, spend a lot of effort in maintenance. And this is really crucial because we are under a budget cap, so we need every time to focus on value-added activities. Now our engineers can focus on analysis and even on small details much faster than before. We can focus on business logic and on critical aspects of our development and not on the maintenance of the system. We are now uh, able to improve the execution of the pit stop in one of the most critical aspects in the race.